welcome to Panda Films, three knots every dad should know, because knots are cool. Added bonus, dad joke, what do you call a tangled rope in space? Answer, an astronaut, hilarious. And here we go, let's start off with the bowline, the granddaddy of knots. If there's one knot you should know, it's this one. Seriously, it's called the king of knots for a reason. You can't call yourself a sailor if you don't know how to tie a bowling. If you really want to sound salty, pronounce it bowling, like Jeremy Lin, instead of bowline. Then all the sailors will know you're legit. We'll buy you beer and let you sit in the basket weaving circle. Start by making a loop, right over left. Keep it pinched. Take your hanging piece of cord, run it through the bottom of the loop and round the back of the main part of your cord. Finally, running it back again through the loop, this time the top of it. Pinch and tighten. Police your knot. A clean knot is an effective knot. What can it be used for? Sailing, rock climbing. Use it for a loop to hold things onto. Make an emergency harness so you can be airlifted out of dangerous avalanche country. You can tie a bowline with one hand like so. You can pretty much use a bowline for everything. Once you're done, you can now proclaim, that ain't going nowhere to anyone in the near vicinity. You are now ruler of the universe. The double sheet bend knot, also known as the weaver's knot. It's the go-to knot when you want to connect two different types of cord together. I prefer it over the fisherman's knot, and that's why it's in the list. I personally like the more secure double versus single because it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. To make the knot, form a bite. That's the proper term for a curved or U-shape. It's B-I-G-H-T, not bite, B-I-T-E. It's another one of those terms if you want to sound knowledgeable in the international knot tying crowd. With your bite in your left hand, take a working end, that's the end that's going to make the knot, side note, another knot tying term. Take that working end and go through the bottom of the bite. We'll wrap it around both cords and through the working end. Do it one more time uh, so you can see two loops in there. Pull the working end tight against the bite and the end of the working end to tighten the knot. Make sure it's nice and clean and then loudly proclaim, that ain't going nowhere, you absolute unit you. The third knot is the slip knot. It's a stopper knot. It's an awesome knot if you want to tighten it on an object and do it to being easily untightened in a hurry. All you have to do is pull on the end and withdraw the loop and it's uh, quite easy to make and take apart. You create a bite like so. Twist the working end over the bite one time. Then reach through the loop to pull the bite in. This piece right here. And there you go, instant slip knot. It can be used for camping, it can be used for a quick, real quick tightening loop. Um, knitting and crochet, and it's got a lot of uses. Slap an end knot on that bad boy, and once again, you can proclaim to the heavens that ain't going nowhere. Hoorah! So, there you go. My three go to knots I break out at parties and family get togethers to show off and amaze others. Practice them till you can do it without fumbling, and you'll find many uses just from these three. I'll have a follow up with more knots for even more uses because you can't have too many knots in your life. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.